So in today's video, it's not going to be anything special. No guides, no tips, no tricks. We are literally just going to run through ED3 and take out the ambassador for an hour. It should be roughly around three kills, but we're going to use death touch darts during this hour just to make things simple and not really take too much time to see what kind of loot we get from this. And I will speed up the dungeon itself through all the trash mobs, but I will stop on all the mini bosses and let it kind of play through since they're only going to be about two minute kills a piece, give or take. So let's just get right into the fast forwarding. Now, if you guys want to use this video for any kind of guide to help you with these mini bosses being Leviathan and or Terracat, then so be it. Um, I'm not really going to walk through what I do here. I make sure I have my split soul up and I at least use bloat. It helps in the long run during this entire fight. As you'll see in the future fights in this video, I actually started taking out Leviathan pretty quick using Necromancy, which baffles me but i use a death touch start so it doesn't unfortunately it doesn't keep my kill times on them but you'll notice that i do almost take out leviathan before he swaps to the other side of the ships which i'm just as impressed as almost anybody who's seen this video so far but let's get right back into this leviathan fight if you guys can find anything useful i'm glad i can be here to help I do want to point out something across this bridge. I, I remember back when I first started doing ED3, they used to throw rocks at you for, I, I don't know, countless damage. I, I don't notice it during these three runs. Has that changed or am I still getting hit and I'm just not realizing it? Because normally I would have to fight the entire mob in the first room and then hope that I have everything set up and prepared for these three on the side to open up the next spot. But I did not notice me being hit by the thrown rocks for the typeless damage at all. If that's changed, please let me know because that changes my whole game plan of running through it. Now back to the fast forward to Terracat. Again, if you guys find anything useful during these dungeon runs, please drop a like. Maybe even consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. Because I, I go through my reboot bars all the time. I, they're never the same. I'm not a manual input type of player. Um, as you can see, I have a revo bar set up. Usually, I throw a resonance inside of my revo bar as well. And then I'll manually input the Volley of Souls, Finger of Touch, 
uh, you know, all of that stuff throughout all of the fights, it, they're never the same to me. I, I'm always inputting something different <laughs> through all of these fights. So, if this is useful for you, please let me know down in the comments as well. But let's get back to the Terracat fight for you. There's also one other thing, as you can see, I'm confused that I don't know where Terracat is. I guess it's a little trick that you can stun him to where he stays over on either side. I did not know that was such a thing, but it's pretty cool to know that he can sit there and still take damage from your Threads of Fate or however you want to try to go after it while you're attacking everything else in that little spot. It, it just threw me through a loop. I figured you guys should know that you could possibly stun him. I guess you have to stun him at the right time for him to stay on the sides like that. Again, this is not going to be an how to ambi kill. It's just a death touch dart. And as you guys can see, no major drops. We got a couple onyxes. It, it, it's a bummer. It really is. But we still got a good bit. We got 7 mil off of that first run, which isn't too bad. I'm just looking for the ECB drops here and there. I mean, I've done multiple death touch dart kills at ambi. And I have still have gotten lucky to receive an ECB drop from ambi now don't get me wrong uh, if you guys want me to i can do an ambi kill guide just let me know down in the comments and i can make one up for you guys as soon as possible and that's coming from a novice pvmer i'm not the greatest i'm not gonna run out there and tell you exactly how to run a reverb bar but i will tell you how i would do it my way All right, now what you're gonna see here at Leviathan for the second time is how I almost take out Leviathan before 
it even goes to the other side of the battlefield. I don't know what I did different here. Like I said, I'm, I'm a novice PVMer. I'm not an expert. But even watching back at it, I don't know what I did any different. I don't know if I got lucky with crits. I don't know if Split Soul and Blow and the Phantom all worked together perfectly on this. Uh, maybe the first time I forgot to do Death Skulls at the very beginning. I'm not too sure exactly what I did any differently. Maybe I was prepared a little bit better going in with more volleys. Or, you know, I'm... If you guys know the difference, please let me know. I don't know if I've had more procs or not, but let me know if you guys can dictate the difference that I did from the first one to this one. All right, we made it back to Terror Kit for the second time. As you will notice this time, I do it differently than the first one as well. Uh, kill times are roughly about the same. And as you've noticed, that the kill times do not show up in the chat at all. That's because I use a Death Touch Dart on Ambi. So no kill times can be recorded. I believe it's for 15 minutes. So future reference, if you're looking for kill times and you use a Death Touch Dart, on a boss i believe it's just bosses i'm not too sure if it's on normal creatures throughout ruinscape but i believe it's just bosses i would like to also point out that majority of you that are watching are not subscribed to this channel so if you guys are enjoying what you're watching if you guys are learning something new make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon so you know when i upload the next guide tip or even just something like this running 3d3 and maybe you guys can learn from it hitting the button is free and harmless it does good for me and the channel so i can keep uploading and making great content for you guys in the future with that being said let's get back to this terracat kill in case you guys missed something and need to learn how to take out terracat
All right, so we're gonna get the second ambi kill here. As you're gonna notice again, no drops. It, it is what it is. Ambi supposedly has one of the highest drop rates for rares. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't gotten a rare drop from Ambi yet. I mean, I've gotten Blackstone Hearts, but I've never gotten anything rare. I think it's like 1 in 50 kills. I know I've definitely used Death Touch Darts more than 50 times on the Ambassador, but I've also done a couple kills here and there just to unlock the portal and all this and all that as well. But again, super unlucky. I don't exactly know what I could do to make it any better at this point. But again, if any of this is helping you guys, make sure to let me know. Again, through this Leviathan kill, you're going to notice that I do it so much faster than the first time. And unfortunately, doesn't take the kill time again because it hasn't been 15 minutes since I used the last Death Touch Dart. And I don't even think it's been 15 minutes since I've even used the first one on Ambi. But again, if you guys notice something and you guys see something, please let me know. If it improves my gameplay for you guys, let me know. Anything to make me better for the gameplay for you guys. But let's get back into this Leviathan kill. And now as you guys notice during this Terracat kill, you're going to notice that I can't do that little trick again to where I can stun him in either one of the corners. I, you can watch me try, and you're going to see me use the ability to stun him. I just can't get it down. I don't know what difference I did from the very beginning to now. But again, for some reason, this one felt a little off. This one, I was near death multiple times, and you see me eat a bunch of food. I've never had a problem with Terracat before. But coming close to death during this run, it felt very weird and off to me. So if again, if you guys see anything different, let me know. Because I'm not 100% sure what I do in the game. I just know how to be able to get a kill and move forward. So if that sounds like a cup of tea for you, I am your man. Perfect channel for you guys. Just make sure you follow along. And hopefully I do help out. So let's get back to the Terracat kill.
And for anybody who doesn't know, if you get close enough to Ambi for the initial hit from him, it's not going to be a huge magic hit, it's going to be a huge melee hit instead. And as you guys can see, again, we got Blackstone Hearts. We didn't get any special drops during these three kills over the last hour of us doing this, but you can see we've got 17 million total of all the drops that we've gotten doing three runs of 83. I just hoped that it was going to be a, a lot better outcome than what we've gotten, but it's all right. We've gotten three ambi kills with death touch darts, so they don't count to your, your kill count towards the boss itself, but... We got some loot, we got 17 mil to go with it. We got a little bit of practice running through ED3 here as well. And hopefully these runs did help you guys in any sort of way. If you weren't even looking for it, I'm hoping that it did help you guys. But this is the end of our ED3 runs. And if you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. See you.